right in this figure we have a mass of two and a half kilograms sliding head on into a spring the k constant of the spring is 320 newtons per meters okay it's going to compress the spring from this location it's going to compress it in seven and a half centimeters the floor has a coefficient of friction with the block of 0 0.25 that's kinetic friction as it slides and while the block is in contact with the spring and being brought to rest what is the work done by the spring force what is the increase of the energy of the block floor system and what is the blocks speed just as it comes into contact with the spring okay so I've made a little diagram here I've labeled the seven and a half centimeter point where it stops as X block is coming in with some unknown velocity here's what is given part one what is the work done by the spring well there's two ways of looking at this you can say once the spring is compressed I know it is storing some energy in it how much energy is stored in a compressed spring one half kx squared so the work done by the spring must be of that amount and because this energy is now in the spring that means it did negative work on the block so my answer for the work done by the spring is negative one half kx squared or if you want to use the traditional equation that work done by the spring is one half kx initial squared minus one half kx final squared initially the spring is not compressed so either way works okay plugging in the numbers that are given we see that the work done by the spring is negative 0.9 joules part b what is the increase in the thermal energy of the block floor system the important idea to remember here is that kinetic friction is a constant force it doesn't matter that the block is slowing down the kinetic frictional force will remain constant so therefore the work done by a constant force is just force times distance kinetic friction is mu times the normal force and for a block sliding on a horizontal surface the normal force is equal to the weight now I can plug in all those values and solve for the change in thermal energy 0.46 joules positive of course part C what was the speed of the block just before it hit the spring well just before it hits the spring it has some kinetic energy which is one half mv squared that's what I'm looking for the velocity where does that energy go well it goes to two categories it goes to thermal energy and it goes to energy stored in the spring so when the spring is completely compressed there is no more kinetic energy all of the energy is in the form of potential or thermal so the sum of those two is the amount of kinetic energy that I have in the block just as it hits the spring so these are my answers from part A and part B set it equal to one half mv squared and solve for V the block was moving at 1.04 meters per second when it struck the spring 